Welcome back to Capture School. I'm Scott, and today, five tips for product photography. And the first one is a tripod. And I know a lot of you are not really interested in using tripods. You want to move around, this and that. But when you're tweaking the lights, literally millimeters from one to the next to try and get the shot right, you don't want to have to run back and try to reframe. Put your camera on a tripod. Your product's not going to move. Your camera's not going to move. And you manual focus this thing, and every shot will be good. All you have to worry about is getting the lighting right. The second thing are the light sources. And a lot of people will say, you know, I need to buy all these expensive lights. You don't need expensive lights. You just need a light source. Think about it. You're already there. The product's not moving. Your camera's not moving. The light does not have to be very bright. It can be several seconds exposure if you need it. You can do this with steady lights. You can do it with strobes. You can do it with speed lights. Any of these things will work. Third tip, light direction. What's really important when you're doing a product photography is getting the light direction correct to properly display your product. And then we're not talking about the product shots where everything is on a white background like you see on the online stores. And we're talking about the hero shots here where every little pocket of light and the direction that you get accents a certain piece. Recent photo shoot I did of a custom built guitar. We hung this guitar by a couple of pieces of fishing line, suspended it there, and basically got the entire photo in one shot. And the next thing is quality of that light. So we know the direction of it, we have a source. Now we have to decide the quality of the light. What does that mean? Depending on your product, if it's glossy, if it's glass, if it's shiny in any way, you're gonna want light that is diffuse. And you're also gonna want light that is fairly large, especially if you have curvature. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the finer points of this today, but understand that diffuse light on a shiny object is gonna work. Diffuse light on an object that has texture will still work. And I've tested this where I've actually had a fashion model dressed in latex, which is super shiny, but she's not. And I lit it for the shiny stuff and she looked great. So it's just get the quality of light correct for the thing that you're doing. And the last thing, this most important thing, the shooting angle. And what does that mean? So if you bring a light from one direction and you have a reflective surface, that light is gonna reflect up at the same angle that the light comes down. If the light is in this direction and strikes your subject, your camera needs to be shooting at that same angle in order to see the light. If you try to shoot this way, the light's gonna go past and you're never gonna see your object. So it's very important to keep these things into consideration when you start with product photography. And those are my five tips for today. Go out there, try these things. If you have questions, leave us comments. Also, if you have more questions about the quality of light, I've written an article on the Capture School website. Check that out. It's a very detailed discussion about how to get the correct quality of light and the confusion that comes with it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.